Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi Frank of Revolution. So today we are located in a new environment as you can see. I have a bicycle next to my head, I hope you like it. And today I will present you the latest update for the Crawlomatic plugin. So starting from now it will be able to also crawl sitemaps and to extract posts from sitemaps. So this is a much needed feature for the Crawlomatic plugin and let me demonstrate it right now to you. So I will use the sitemap from coderevolution.ro and let us go ahead and import some posts from here from my blog. And this is the URL of my sitemap, let me paste it here and let me extract only one post for demonstration purposes. And to uh, enable the sitemap crawling, you have to paste your sitemap here and scroll down after you hit settings until you see do not scrape start URL. This must be checked because if you don't check this, the, the sitemap will also be imported as a post. So you don't need this, so check this. And afterwards, go to seed page crawling query type and select sitemap so this is a new option that was added only in the latest version of the plugin so select sitemap and seed page crawling query string if you want to uh, import all posts from the sitemap you can leave this blank or alternatively you can uh, add here a regex expression a regular expression uh, that will match only some posts from the sitemap. So let me jump in this and let me import everything from the start. This is the first example I will show you. So let me generate a post, but before let me show you my test site, it is empty. And let me go ahead and import the first post that appears in the sitemap because I haven't set any restrictions to it right now importing finish let's refresh the site and here it is this is the first post ever published on my site okay so now let's go ahead and uh, we can define here the seed page crawling query string and here we can define a regex regular expression that will match only some results from here. So for this I will use this site, I will link it in this video description, it is regexer.com and you can write here your regular expressions to match only partial uh, results from it. So let us copy some URLs from here and paste it here. Okay, now we should uh, be able to write a regular expression that matches only this date. So I want to import, for example, only posts that were published on uh, 2018-7-29. This is the date when the posts were published. So for this, I paste the string that I wish, wish to match. I escape characters that were highlighted here that are with errors in the regular expression and at the end I should write point to match everything and uh, star this star character means that zero or more for the preceding token which is anything so this will match only the uh, URLs that start with this string. So as you can see the two URLs that match were already highlighted. This means that I can copy this string and go to the plugin settings, seed page crawly query string and here we should uh, input some regex delimiters. Don't forget about this. So this can be anything uh, for example uh, parentheses, hashtags or anything else, I use hashtags and between the hashtags let's paste what we copied from here. So copy this and add two hashtags and paste it here. So after this we can go ahead and save settings and let's delete rules 
and now we can go ahead and let's run importing again so now we should get one of these posts published so why youtube should not be your one and only video host and how to set up google analytics on your blog so importing finished and if we refresh our site why blogging is an education itself so uh, let me check this because there might be also other uh, posts with this date so why blogging is an education itself so 729 729 so this is another link from this date that matched as we can see so uh, let me highlight this for you so like this so 2018 729 why blogging is an education itself and this was the result that was imported that matched our query here so yeah so 729 2018 here you can also enter anything for example posts or uh, member only or anything else that you wish and the plugin will import all posts that match this query and are located in the sitemap also you can uh, note that if there are some sites that have these kinds of sitemap like my uh, basic sitemap so this sitemap includes multiple sitemaps in it and in this case the plugin will also work because the plugin will crawl each sitemap separately and extract posts from all so if you have sitemaps like this which are huge then you should uh, limit your uh, sitemap to some specific posts so in this example if i would enter this sitemap in the plugin it will uh, output all links that are located here and the crawling would take a long time to finish however I can go in and select only the post sitemap and let's go ahead and crawl only this and this will be faster and also not so resource uh, intensive so let me know guys what you think about this latest update for the crawlomatic plugin it is able to crawl also sitemaps and uh, I think this is a great feature to have especially if you want to crawl large websites which don't have uh, the structure which the plugin needed until now so uh, you could only go into uh, the main page of a blog and you could only crawl pagination links but now this is not required anymore but it will still work so you can go ahead and crawl uh, pages also by sitemap right now so yeah this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this new update for the crawlomatic plugin i will link uh the plugin in this video's description so go ahead and check it guys if you don't have it already and thank you for watching until then have a nice day stay safe bye bye